Hi there, it's Tim. Are you thinking of buying a scooter? Or maybe you've already bought a scooter and you want to help somebody out with the decision making process? Check out this video, listen to what Jeremy asks, and then if you don't mind, write down in the comments down below, what would you recommend for Jeremy? So Jeremy writes, firstly, I hope it's okay to contact you by email, as this is about electric scooters. I tracked the address down via your YouTube profile. Jeremy, that's awesome, totally fine, go ahead email me directly, that's fine. Or put comments down below in the, uh, you know, comments down below in a video. I respond to every single video comment. Um, I subscribe to your excellent reviews channel and value your know-how about the market. I'm writing to see if you can please give me a steer about particular models. I'm close to making a purchase very soon now, but would appreciate your advice before I commit. Here's the thing. Although I'm not bothered about doing anything more than about 25 to 30 miles an hour, the issue I have is with hills. I don't want to be humiliated by cyclists going up them past me and have a, and I've seen a lot of scooters where this might happen. So as that is a priority, it has led me towards the more extreme options with bigger and heavier batteries. The current favorites are the new Apollo Phantom, their new Wolf Warrior X Pro, or possibly the Cabo Mantis 10. But as A, I don't think I'll use some of their high-end specs, and B, I have an RV and want to be reasonably portable. 35 kilograms is a lot. I am wondering if you can think of any model within the very crowded market that would fit the bill for my requirements. Budget is, of course, a limited, is limited, sorry, but within reason, I'll pay what needs to be paid. The aim is to find a perfect blend of something that can be fun, yet perhaps doesn't require that 52 or 60 volt battery. A decent quality build, 10 inch tires are a must, and there is a benefit, oh, and is there a benefit, RE stem wobble or lack of it with a double stem, example, the Wolf's. Thanks for taking the time to read. I'm sure you're bombarded by such questions all the time, but I, I value your knowledge, and if you have time to suggest any, suggest any options, I'd be really grateful. Well, thank you very, very much, Jeremy, for those, uh, for those words. I've actually had some time to think about what you're asking, and honestly, I, um, well, I think the first thing, and this is important, I'm not, I don't have any affiliates. I'm not affiliated with any kind of uh, programs. I don't have affiliate links in my comments. I don't have affiliate links in my description. So these are unbiased re reviews that I give. I'm not paid by any manufacturers. I do receive the occasional manufacturer, like for example, behind me here, I've got a, a Varla and a U-Scooter. So, you know, obviously I'm gonna have, um, have ridden those, but uh, that's not to say there aren't other options out there. So as I said before, you guys put down your recommendations for Jeremy down below. My recommendation, actually, funnily enough, is just simply this. I, I think the Varla is probably good enough. Dollar-wise, you know, a Varla or a 10X is probably plenty. Uh, it is a little bit heavier, uh, but if you don't mind lugging it around, it is a 52 volt, gives you lots of range, gets a big guy like me around really nicely. Another option, of course, is to go with a single, single motor scooter. Uh, and if you went with something like a Legger or a Legger Pro even, I think your Lego Pro, especially because he happens to weigh about 75 kilos, which is about 160 pounds, I think you're probably gonna be fine with that. It's gonna be a lot lighter, uh, still really well made. So a Lego, Lego Pro, uh, if you wanna go a little bit heavier and want a little bit more range, maybe go with an E-Move Cruiser. So those are sort of my sort of picks for you. But as I said before, go ahead, put down in the comments down below. Let Jeremy know what you think. Uh, what's your experience with the scooter that you're currently riding or what are you looking at? and uh, what models would you recommend for him? Thanks for watching, and as always, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video.